Uh, yes, uh, as you said, 29 bodies are still to be identified and uh, they are at uh, Ames Bhubaneswar. Uh, we are constantly appealing to the public to come forward with uh, DNA, with their DNA uh, testing, uh, so that uh, if somebody is missing from the family, uh, they can give the DNA at Ames, and uh, if it is matched, then at least they will find peace in uh, in uh, understanding what has happened to their relatives. Um, uh, yes, we have 29 bodies now. Uh, the certain a uh, few number of uh, DNAs are uh, still under uh, process. Uh, there are a few samples uh, still that have gone for testing, and it is a continuous process. Uh, suppose uh, yesterday we have given a newspaper advertisement uh, for uh, uh, people uh, for the public. We have appealed to the public to give us their DNA samples. Uh, whoever feel that their relatives are lost or uh, deceased. Uh, so, uh, so this is a continuous process. Still, we are getting a few DNA samples and uh, a few. Um, we hope that uh, there will be a few some matches also. So, how many people do they have uh, submitted their DNA reports for 29? Presently, around 40, uh, uh, somewhere around 40, we have uh, against these 29 bodies. Sir, so around two months have passed. Still, bodies they have started decomposing. So. How do you see, um, uh, you see um, uh, the preservation there in Ames uh, has been in a scientific manner. Uh, they have uh, completely tried to preserve it, and th there is a very tec good technical team there. Uh, uh, so, uh, keeping that apart, uh, the next thing is that we are only hopeful that we have some uh, DNA samples coming further, and uh, we find some matches. Uh, till then, uh, there is no decision yet.